Hey guys, it's Hogan here and today in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add in a triple parallax effect. The other day I did a dual parallax, today I'm going to show you how to do it three layers. Okay, so it's really cool um, because you can separate the different layers and it feels like it's like 3D. And I'm also going to show you how you can add in um, animations and also set it up so it layers on top of each other and as well as adding in a gradient, okay, it's a new feature of Themify and um, it's amazing and obviously I'm not going to show you how to Photoshop these things because that would take ages but I just want you guys to understand how to use it and then you can apply it for your own website okay, so basically um, I'm going to get into it now so let's get started okay, so before we actually begin I want to go through the concepts of how it actually works. So basically there are two different layers. So there's the front layer which will be um, this mountain that you see here and the back layer which is the background mountain. Okay, we actually need to separate that in Photoshop or whatever um, software you have but I'm using pixlr.com um, and then you can go to the editor and you can import your image and basically all you need to do is crop the image out. So you can use the lasso tool and then you can select this one here Okay, make sure you select that one and then what you need to do is basically select it. Okay, so click it once, start from the edge and then drag it, click it, drag it, okay, click it, and then drag it, click it, drag it, click it, okay. So you select the front image like that, okay, using this um, lasso tool. And basically, um, I'm going to do it now quickly, and then I'm going to show you um, how to actually crop it out. Okay. Okay, so I'm nearly done. Um, just cropping the last um, images here. Okay, so drag it, click it, and make sure to click it to the very end. Okay, so that's all locked in. Okay. Then what you need to do is we want to delete the top part of the image. So we want to select everything on the top. So we need to... Um, click your mouse here, okay, just right above the edge here, and then drag it across, and then click it above the edge here as well, and then drag it here, so make sure it connects with the beginning line, and then basically click it, okay, and then it'll select everything. Okay, so what we need to do is you need to double click the background um, thing here, so it's a tick, and then you can delete it. Okay, so you got to make sure you see the checkered boxes, and then you need to export it, okay, or save it. So save it, and then you can um, export it as a PNG, full quality, and then click on OK to save it. Okay, so that will be your front layer, and then for your back layer, it will be just the original image. Okay, so you also got to make sure that the front layer and the back layer is the same size. So whatever size that you have here on the bottom, um, it has to be the same for the background as well. Okay, so save that onto your computer. Now I'm going to move on to actually setting it up on Themify. So you'll need to turn on your builder. And basically, um, you'll need to go to row options here. And for the row width, you've got to set in the full width. For styling, this is where we're going to upload the background image. So click on Browse Library. And I've already uploaded the file here. And this is the file. Okay and then insert file URL and then what you need to do is set in parallax scrolling okay and then for the background position you want to set the focus of it to right top okay so that will ensure that the two different layers are separated okay so they'll be different for the um, column background that we're going to set in in a second okay so let's click on save and then let's click on the column options here and for the background image, we're going to select the the front layer which we cut out. Okay, insert file, and background mode will be parallax as well. Now for the position, it's going to be different, so it's going to be center bottom. Okay, and what we need to do is set in some padding as well. Okay, so as you can see, you can't see anything now, but when we add some padding, then you'll see something. So deselect this, and change this to about thirty percent to the top and about 30% to the bottom. So that will probably be um, dependent on how big your image is and things like that. But around 25 will be all right as well. Okay, so once you've done that, then you can just click on save. And basically, um, you'll have 
two different layers. So let's click on save and have a look at it. Close it. And when you're um, parallaxing, you'll see that it's like um, moving. Okay, so that's what you want and that's really cool. Now we're going to add in the third layer, which is the um, parallax title. So you can drop in text or whatever you want here and um, you can also parallax each individual module as well. Okay, so that's the new feature of Themify and it's amazing. So let's put in a image, drop it in there, and image URL, let's browse library, and we're going to drop in this title here. And then what you can do is go to animation. Okay, so this is the new feature, um, the Themify feature, and I want to set in a fade in animation. And we're going to set the delay to about two seconds. Okay, so it's gonna the screen is gonna load up and then in two seconds it's gonna fade in. Okay, so if you don't see these um, features on your theme at the moment, then you can go to the description below and download the latest theme, and then you'll need to update the theme as well. Okay, so I've got instructions on how to do it on the description as well. So just follow those, and then you'll have um, these features as well. Okay, so for the parallax scrolling, you can actually set in the speed. So let's set the speed to about three. Okay, which is pretty um, average speed and the stack order basically means that you can actually stack things in front of each other or behind each other but for this um, example I'm gonna leave this empty for now and I'll show you later on so let's click on save okay so once you've got that you probably want to center it and I just click on row options here styling text align it to the center click on save and let's have a save and a little preview of that. Okay, so as you can see, it fades in and it's really nice. Okay, so let's move on to the next um, row where I'm gonna show you how to add in the gradient, which is also another amazing feature. So let's go to row options, set it to full width, so click on styling. And as you can see, you got different background types. Okay, so if you don't see it, make sure you do upgrade your theme. So click on gradient and what you can do is basically select from linear or radial. What I want to select is linear and you can change the rotation. So it basically changes the, the angle of the, um, the gradient. Okay. But for this one, I want to set it to 180 and the color, you can click on this button here and basically we're going to set in a sort of a dark gray color. Okay, like that, and then you can also set in the um, transparency as well. Okay, so once you've done that, then I'm also going to set the um, gradient for the bottom part. Okay, so as you can see, you can move it as well. Okay, so you're going to play around with it to see what you actually want. And let's click on that to set in our color. And I'm going to set in a sort of a um, bluish gray color. Okay, click on save. Actually, we're going to add in some padding first. So click deselect this and let's set in about 10 or 15% to the top and 5% to the bottom padding. Okay, now let's click on save. Okay, so you've got a nice gradient effect there and um, you can add that in as well. And what we want to do is set in a image module. So image URL, click on browse library and we want to upload the um, images okay so i'm going to upload this image here insert file url and then what i want to do is preview that to see what that sort of looks like okay so what we can do is we can click on the animation here and we want to set in so it animates so we're going to set in here bounce in from the left hand side and what you uh, when you're setting in animations, it's important to be consistent. So I'm going to set in the delay to about one second. And then for the scroll speed, I'm going to set it to three. The Z index, I'm going to set it to one. Okay, so I'll explain how it works um, in one second. So let's click on save for now. Okay, so as you can see, it bounces in from the left. Now to add in another one, so we can just duplicate it. So it saves a lot of time, but what we want to do is set it in so it sort of overlaps each other, okay? 
To do that, we need to set in a negative margin. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to change that image to the second image. And I'm going to go to styling, scroll down, and for margin here, I want to deselect this. I want to type in a negative margin so it overlaps the one bef um, before it. Okay, so we're going to set to percentage. So as you can see, it overlaps it. And then when we give it a preview, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see, that looks really nice. Okay, and then for the animation, we want to set it so, you know, the first one animates first and then the second one comes in. So you want to set the delay to two seconds, right? And for the stack order, um, you can set it to two. Okay, so what it basically means is if this stack order is, say, for example, it's one, Okay, let's set it to 1. And then and then the stack order for the background image here is set to 2. That will basically means mean that it will actually um, overlap. Okay? So the the number the smaller number will always be at the back, okay? And the bigger number will be at the front. Okay? So that is what this thing is for. Okay? So but I'm going to set it back to normal to 2 and I'm going to set this back to 1 as well okay and then click on save and then that's it so we're going to duplicate it again okay so let's double click this module and change the image to this one here insert file go to animation set it to 3 okay so as you can see there's a pattern there set this to 3 as well click on save and then um, we're going to duplicate it again. And then basically what we need to do, change the image to this one here. Insert file and change the animation to 4 second. Change the stack to 4. Um, click on save. And then basically that's it. But we want to center everything, right? So click on row options, styling center it and click on save okay so you guys um, sort of get the idea of how to um, set in your animation uh, we're going to give that a little bit of preview but as you can see when you click on save it's sort of um, everything moves up and that isn't really good so for some reason um, it does that but there's a easy fix for that and what you need to do is turn on your builder and basically if you save the builder like when you've just closed this one, then um, that will happen. But what happens is if you, let's say you click on row options here and let's click on save and then let's save it here and close it. You'll see that it goes back um, like right here. Okay. So it doesn't overlap the image anymore. Okay. So this is also parallaxing. So as you can see, it's sort of like floating in the air. So that is the really cool thing about it. And let's give the whole page a refresh to see what that looks like. So refresh it. Okay, that looks really nice. And scrolling down, you see the mountain moves up. Then your things bounce in from the left. Okay, they're all timed really nicely. And you've got the gradient there. And yeah, that's really about it. And um, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial. Oh yeah, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the video.